I came to teaching in kind of a roundabout way. I uh, actually went to Granville High School, um, graduated, uh, went to college at Ohio State with a degree in natural resource management, wildlife management, and, and my goal in life was I was going to go study wolves in northern Canada. I mean, I was just going to disappear. Um, and I remember sitting down and having a conversation with my dad about why. Why would I want to do that? And I said, well, you know, I love the outdoors. I want to save it. And he, and he asked, you know, how are you going to save the outdoors in northern Canada? So I got to thinking about that a little bit, and I realized that, you know, the way to do some of these things is to get people to feel the same way I do. Then the question is, who do you want to talk to? And, and I decided, for me, I wanted to talk to the students, the next generation. I'm Jim Renning. I teach AP Environmental Science at Granville High School, and it's my honor to tell the story of the Land Lab and the students who built it. The Land Lab was a project that started in 2013 by AP Environmental Science students. And in my class, they do what they call take action projects. With this particular class, they decided they wanted to do something in relationship to conservation biology. They wanted to give back to the community, they wanted to improve the diversity around them, and they wanted to create something that was educationally valuable. And eventually they all came up with the idea of creating a land lab. Basically an outdoor classroom. When the kids created it, they wanted a place where they could do science. And so, so often in a science class, you know, you have these canned labs where, you know, you, you get them, you work on them for a couple of days. To be honest with you, a lot of times the students know the answer before they start, or at least they know what the answer is supposed to be. The beauty of a land lab like this is that they can start an experiment that could last for 10 years. They could put into place the collection of data that's going to be used by students that come back you know, five years, six years from now. Out here, they have the opportunity to take on scientific experiments that are really increasing the, the amount of knowledge that we have in the scientific community. The Take Action projects be kind of became what the students now call legacy projects because they realized they were taking on some challenges that they couldn't do in one year. So it was more of a matter of, you know, we're going to get it started, then we're going to pass it on to somebody else. It was their original idea. They, they came up with the initial concept of, you know, wetlands and prairies and forests. Every piece of this land lab, as you look out over this thing, they've touched. You know, they've planted the trees. They've, they've managed the invasive species. They've, they've done the scientific research. They've pushed it forward. They've gone out and chased the money. You know, they've sat at a table making a pitch to build an observational deck with someone that they met five minutes ago. And yet they, they came prepared. They came with their, their passion, they came with their story, and they walk out of there with, with the support of the, the builders that are saying, yeah, we'll help you with this. As a teacher of 30 years, I can't do that in a classroom. I, there's nothing that they're getting out of here that I could do from a booked lab. Every year is more exciting to me than the last. You know, if I, if I can do it, I'll teach for another 30. And I'm just inspired every day by these students and what they're capable of accomplishing when we give them the tools, when we give them the time, when we give them the freedom to go out and make a difference. Thank you.